राइट सो वी कम टू द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नाउ द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द फील्ड ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इट माइट बी लिटिल ब्लरी सो एनी वेज आई रीड आउट फॉर यू एंड दिस पी डी एफ विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू यू इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन सो प्लीज अवेल ऑफ दैट राइट तो द क्वेश्चन इज सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वाई देर इज सो मच एक्टिविटी इन द फील्ड ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इन आर कंट्री हाउ हैज दिस एक्टिविटी बेनिफिटेड द फील्ड ऑफ बायोफार्मा तो फर्स्ट वील ऑब्वियसली अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन दिस वॉज आज इन ट्वेंटी एटीन फॉर फिफ्टीन मार्क्स सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन फोकस ऑन वट इज बींग आस्ट राइट सो डू नॉट गो इन टू वट इज बायोटेक बिकॉज दे हैव नॉट आस्ट दैट एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन पीपल मेक दिस मिस्टेक अ लॉट अ लॉट पीपल राइट वट दे नो एंड दैट इज द बिग प्रॉब्लम प्लीज प्लीज फोकस ऑन वट इज द डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन and you have to write according to the demand even if you write let's say it is demanding 250 words you write 200 words but please write relevant content so do not go in what is biotech in applications asked is the topic that is asked is reason for high activity right with special focus on one topic which is biopharma so if we analyze this question this becomes uh, a little difficult because biopharma we read let's say you might read in a particular paragraph only okay but this is asking things in detail so it becomes a talent of yours that is why answer is sorry answer writing is a skill an art but you can learn it because it's a skill you can acquire it so this is the art that you need to practice how to turn a paragraph into let's say 200 words okay let's move ahead to the blueprint so introduction give current relevance because again it is not asking what is biotech so focus on relevance then discuss the reasons for high activity and use these keywords in the answer itself don't try to use some other word as much as possible use the keywords that are mentioned in the question itself so how has the and the second thing you are going to discuss is the benefit to the biopharmaceutical sector correct all right so let's come to the answer so in the introduction itself start with the brief on why things are increasing in biotechnology first is obviously we have lot of population and hence we are getting skilled workforce government is also very active in this field and there are regulations also we'll see so government support is there and then biotechnology is also having lot of innovations in our country we do have a robust ipr re regime right so that is also a reason of course and the final thing is market potential population is increasing also technology is being exported we have exported vaccines so demand is there right another keyword i bought for you like in the previous answer this technology is a technology of hope now you can use this tagline technology of hope if in many frontier technologies even in ai also right so do these things to attract examiners attention this is a market again i have put a fact for you also that it's a market of 40 billion dollars so this is how a compact introduction can be introduced again you might feel it uh, it like it's a little longer than required yeah i agree with you this is a model answer right you don't have to strictly follow this i would actually welcome if you put in some thought and then you try to come up with your own answer that's great that's how you know thought process develops right so now let us see the factors which are driving the biotechnology growth in the introduction itself we have mentioned few factors let us see them and more so the first thing is skilled workforce india is going through demographic dividend as we know right and there are training initiatives like biotech industrial training program because of which we are getting lot of trained graduates second is government support they have launched lot of programs two are very important which i'm going to discuss right now biotechnology industry partnership program and biotechnology ignition grant scheme these are created to support startups especially and researchers finally there is a national program national biotechnology development strategy now in this strategy it is emphasizing ppp model for development of biotechnology sector especially the biotech parks and incubators market potential as our population is growing and it has reached almost 1.3 billion there is also an increase in middle class so they are having more money to spend now as the income level of people rises 
they start demanding such services correct like in healthcare improvement in agriculture in industries other industries so all these things are leading to high amount of activity we have also a very good ipr regime which helps in securing the intellectual property of researchers and their innovations finally we have rich biodiversity and traditional knowledge many people miss this point okay due uh, due to our let's say varied culture we have ayurved we have yunani we have siddha we have such medical technologies and we also have lot of traditional knowledge which is let's say not recorded anywhere so all these things they provide various sources of technology and try and when we try to understand these cultures which we have not understood properly when we try to understand them we discover more let's say home grown medicine so all these things they provide lot of area for research right now let us come to the next section which is the benefit to the biopharma sector specifically because of this biotechnology india has become a global leader in generic medicine production we ex uh, we have 20% of global exports according to economic survey biotech has also helped in introducing new drugs i'll give you one example india's first recombinant insulin has been developed by biocon and they have also developed an antibody for cancer because of biotechnology so this this is leading this technology is leading as i told you this technology is technology of hope in the introduction right this is technology of hope so this is the connection of that point this thing this this insulin will decrease the rate or, or let's say the amount that we pay for insulin then this will lead to more people having better cure and better quality of life next is improved healthcare how many people have chronic diseases like diabetes uh, and one of the most important thing is insulin like i told you quality of life so chronic diseases like cancer and diabetes these technologies can help in their cure let's say not cure but to alleviate the pain of the patient because of which let's say because of the biotechnology bio bharat biotech they have developed vaccines for disease like chikungunya so you can see this technology biotechnology is leading to lot of new creations and innovations i'll introduce one term over here biosimilar you must have heard about generic medicines this is a fairly new term biosimilars so biosimilars are medicines like generic medicines only but they are different because biosimilars are basically similar compounds to the original natural compound like if you create an insulin which is uh, working similarly to the original insulin that is produced in the human body you have created a biosimilar right so these are biologically based example biocon again they have created a biosimilar for breast cancer it's called trastuzumab very difficult word right trastuzumab next point is manufacturing process has also been improved in terms of efficiency because of biotechnology we have created new processes job creation is also there because in biotech sector we do need researchers scientists engineers who can do all these things somebody is doing them right we need people who can actually get creative and do the research so india's biotechnology sector if we see that especially since the question talks about bar biopharma we'll also include that in conclusion right so india's biotechnology sector especially the biopharma industry that will grow a lot because of the above mentioned factors right but again to make the answer holistic i have introduced uh, just a, you know a little small introduction of challenges challenges like we have ethical usage challenge in every new and upcoming technology you can write this keyword we have regulatory gaps because like i said before regulation always lags behind the new technology and that is just the nature of things it's not the fault of regulation okay gene editing for example right there was regulation issue and somebody in china 
made a three parent baby and after that there was human cry so regulation is always behind and that's just the nature of things so challenges need to be addressed so that we can realize the full potential of this sector